I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this King of Pentacles, and it's with the Empress. Now, this King of Pentacles actually speaks of authority, tradition, success. Could be with money matters. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that indicates money, cash, coins, <clears throat> finance, income. So, when this card appears, it's actually a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick. It's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. <clears throat> so, when this stands for actual person in your life, it can refer to a very ma very masculine type, could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Now, if it's referring to an actual person in your life, just know that this is someone who you can believe, yes, you can believe in, and trust absolutely. <laughs> now, it's with the Empress. The Empress doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, this does not mean she'll always get her way, but she is a reminder not to ignore your creative and your intuitive side. It can be about coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because there's actually many types of wealth, many types of riches in life and money. It's actually only one of them. But just know the Empress can have it all. The Empress can encompass any or all of them. So... Recent past energy, King of Pentacles, clarified by this Empress. So far, all the message that I'm getting is that, yeah, you you recently, you want success. You want it or you want, you still do want success with someone. This person is eye candy. Somebody who's good looking, beautiful, attractive, handsome. Yeah, there's some... There's someone that you wanted su success with. Possibly you wanted um, to make it a stable, committed relationship. Because the King of Pentacles can be about secure or security. It can be about being focused, committed. King of Pentacles is actually a really good energy. It's very stable. King of Pentacles makes good good father. So you, you wanted to secure something or a connection with someone. And like I said, uh, you might have deep love for this person. Because the Empress is about deep love. And a lot of people are attracted to the Empress. And you felt the same way. So, yeah, somebody that you're, you were interested in. And you wanted a relationship with, or you wanted to get something started, and you're very, very drawn to this person. So let's move on over, and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Five of Wands, and it's with the Two of Cups. Now, the Five of Wands, it often refers to competition. Usually, this could be work, career, family, romance, but sometimes it can refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer, and you can be successful. But the thing is that when you get the Five of Wands, you're going to have to try 
just to see results. So when this card appears, the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever. So hold your head up high, have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You may be thinking of making a career change. Just know that if this is the case, you can be successful, if so. Now, it's with the Two of Cups, which can refer to romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This is a card that says that things are likely to be going well, and you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. This Two of Cups, it speaks of true love. A balanced partnership, commitment, all the things that most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. So coming up, Virgo, Five of Wands clarified by this Two of Cups. The message that I'm getting is that, like I said, there's somebody that you... You want success with, but because the Five of Wands came out for you, it looks like you might feel like there's too much, too much competition to get to this person. Yeah, you might feel like it could be a battle trying to be with them or just to, to get to them. Uh, um, the Two of Cups here. It's showing that the two of you could be um, the ideal couple. Or you could see this person as the ideal partner. Because with the two of cups, there's a romantic love. There's partnership. There's harmony. There's union. There's a deep connection. And that's how you could be feeling about this person. And the Two of Cups can also lead to proposal and marriage. So, yeah. But you think that it's a struggle just to get with this person. Yeah, you might have to fight off a lot of other people. That's what you could be thinking coming up. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. Well, we got the Page of Cups, and it's with Judgment. Now, the Page of Cups, it's actually showing that there's a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, it can mean that you've been taking yourself far too seriously. There was a poet or a writer that once said, The one thing I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative, and the second can be a disaster. You have to know the difference. Page of Cups is with judgment. Now, judgment can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too hastily. So if you're prone to such things, this may be a time or sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. It's actually a make or break period in the connection or the relationship. It can be. So your challenge page of cups clarified by judgment. So, yeah, Virgo, like I said, there's somebody you want to go towards, and you want success with them. You, you feel that this is the ideal partner, but you think it could be a struggle trying to get to them. Um, with the Page of Cups here, yeah, you could be, this could be somebody that you already know. Somebody that you've already been with. Because it's showing that you could be thinking about 
how, how good the intimacy is because the page of cups can be about intimacy, opening up your heart. And just by looking at the picture, page of cups is a card above the word challenge. You see how these people, they're hanging, hanging loose at the park. They're halfway naked. They're turning up the bottle. They're having a good time. So you could be thinking about, you could be thinking a lot coming up about how good the intimacy is or was or can be. Like I said, for most of you, you already know this person. Maybe you've already been with them. But judgment is here. So you might think that this person is being very judgmental towards you. And this could be why they haven't come towards you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. For some of you, this person could be having certain thoughts about you that they're not sure of. They could be jumping to conclusions. Yeah, maybe this person doesn't know what to make of you or the connection. So they're just jumping to conclusions. And maybe being judgmental. But that can cause a make or break in the connection. But yeah, you're thinking about how much fun you two can have. And how great the intimacy would be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the Devil card, and it's with the Six of Cups. Now with the Devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation, that you always have options to choose from. First, don't let, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you do come to that conclusion, you want to be sure that you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial. To remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have the feeling that you are not in control of your life. Sometimes this happens as a result of your own actions. But more often as a byproduct of inaction so take action whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling however slight of being in control even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner because small baby steps they're important too now the devil card is with the six of cups the six of cups can be about nostalgia Looking back on how things used to be, it can be connected with children or childhood. So keep in mind it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So be careful with that. So your outcome, devil clarified by the Six of Cups. Yeah, so, yeah, what I'm, ge what I'm getting is that, like I said, this person could be very could be jumping to conclusions about you. So I don't think they're re I don't think they're coming towards you. But boy, would you you would love to get your hands on this person. You're very attracted to them. And like I said, do you see them as the ideal partner? And you think the intimacy would be fabulous. Just what you what you always dreamed about. 
or you already know this. Some of you, you've been with this person before. But this person is being judgmental towards you. Or are they just jumping to conclusions? They, they could think that you've got some devil energy. Devil energy could be anything from addictions. Addictions can be greed, envy, materialism, jealousy, obsession, sexual lust, drug abuse, alcohol abuse. Or they might think that you're toxic in some kind of way if they came towards you. Or they might think the connection would be toxic. Maybe not necessarily you. Maybe they just think that it would be just too toxic to come towards you. So they just start jumping to conclusions. They could be making up things in their head. Yeah, but like I said, for some of you, this is someone you already know because the Six of Cups is here. There's a lot of happy memories between the two of you. A lot of happy memories. It's showing that it's possible that the two of you will come together. Yeah. Six of Cups is about, can be about the reappearance of an old lover. Or someone that you used to know making a return. So yeah, the two of, it's possible that the two of you will come come together. But like I said, this person might hold back. Because they're thinking that the connection is going to be toxic. So, there could be a lot of convincing that you'll have to do. If you think it's worth it. Yeah. The two of you will make a lot of happy memories, or you have already made a lot of happy memories. You feel, you feel very familiar, or this person feels very familiar to you. If it's someone new, new, it will feel like you've known this person from a past life before, or you've known this person before. And if it's someone that you already know, the two of you have a lot of happy memories together. That's what the Six of Cups can be about. So Virgo, good luck with that. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below on the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself. Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Please come back and check out the next Virgo reading. Which will be in about another four, three or four days. Or four or five days. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, maybe even a co-worker or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I'm wishing all of you Happy New Year. I hope to see you at the next reading. Once again, have a great day and take care.